Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Toby Chan. I'm the storage engineer from United Stack, which is the first open stack service provider in China. If you are interested in what we do, you can go to usedeck.com or just Google United Stack to know more about what we did. So um, today I would like to talk about the new feature uh, about OpenStack image service and how to leverage advantage of multiple backends in Glance. Uh, this work is actually done by my colleague Lei Dong and me. So here are our email address. Uh, supporting multiple backends in Glance is really a pay point for all OpenStack users because Cinder could support multiple backends. Nova could support multiple backends, but not Glance. So before introduce, introducing what we did, let's focus on this architecture first. So I assure that everyone is familiar with that. Uh, under the hood of OpenStack platforms, we use Ceph Unified Storage for both Nova, Cinder, and Glance. It is quite normal, right? Um, but this architecture may change, especially when customers want to add more storage backends. So uh, now we would like to add another commercial storage for their data. It is possible because Cinder could support uh, one or more backends in the same OpenStack platform. Be aware of that. All the, in these situations, all the virtual machines are uh, running on the self unified storage. So then someone could ask, uh, can we run virtual machine in all the storage backends? So definitely yes. We could run NOAA computes uh, to connect with the step cluster and uh, other NOAA computes for commercial storage. Currently, it looks great. However, there's one problem about the images. If Glance use the safe RBD drivers, you have to copy the complete images to commercial storage before putting the virtual machines there. So it would be much better to deploy two Glance servers in uh, both safe unified storage and commercial storage. But you know it's impossible. If you don't want to get messed with the um, duplicated endpoints of the image service. So therefore, if you deploy the glance upon a commercial storage, the O1 should be taken. If we change the commercial storage to another step cluster, the problem still exists. In fact, glance is unable to connect with multiple step, step cluster without our patch, which I will talk about later. So no matter which size we want to deploy, Nova have to copy the complete images to both to put the virtual machines from, from the other side. So don't question about that because we have tested it and it takes a quite a long time to export and import the images twice. So what are the problems? Why could Glance not support multiple backends? Now, um, I, will, I will summarize all the problems here. So um, there are many restrictions for Glance to support the real multiple backends. Firstly, we have only a few drivers for Glance. So secondly, there is some limitations of the feature multi-location, uh, which I will also talk about soon. Uh, firstly, we have multi-location, and it have some strategy to select the location. But there are some defects for that. And the last one is, is that um, we have the limit, uh, limitations to config multiple self-cluster backend. So that this, this problem still exists when we are using the Metaka OpenStack or the upstream glance. So that's why I'm here today uh, to introduce our work and to address these problems. So here are our solutions. Uh, at first, I will introduce the feature of the multi-location and its limitations. And then I 
Um, then we have implemented the new strategy for multi-location and improved NOVA and GANs for this feature. At last, I will talk about the future support, support for multiple SAP backend. Okay, so someone may know about GANs multi-location feature. Um, and it is merged as the new, new feature in the version 2 APIs. So take this for example. If we want GANs image source for this image, it shows up three different locations here. So no one may request GANs uh, for all the location of these images and try to clone or download the images. So, uh, they, if you, um, I'm sorry about that. Um, let's go back. Uh, if you try the files first, uh, in, the case, uh, in this case, if, if the file does not exist, sorry, they, there's some problem about that animations. Uh, if the file does not exist, if you try Cinder and HTTP later, so uh, how to enable these functions? And uh, now we have the glance service. And it did the configuration file and add some parameters. Then we start the glance service. And no one can, uh, now we can create the image and upload the file for that. So uh, now the image have the first file lo location there. Then we run the command curl or gas CRI to add more locations, um, just like RBD locations or others. Um, now, let's, uh, if we focus on this command, we will find out that we just specify RBD address, but not which set cluster to use. Uh, actually, the GANs configuration files, we add the location of the set.conf which indicated the specified class, step clusters. In this case, the self monitors IPs look like this. But how can we specify and use two or more step clusters? No way. Unfortunately, there's no way to configure and use two step clusters, like the images on the right corner. Um, we can only choose only the left one or the Y ones, but not both. So it starts Y. Um, there's some other limitations of the GAS multi-location features. Uh, currently, we are not able to put VM with the specified location. Um, similarly, we could not create a bootable volume with the specified locations. And now, um, different self cluster use the same RPD store, just uh, what I showed above. And then it has the limitation to config multiple set backends. To solve these problems, I would like to uh, in uh, introduce the new strategies we have improvements in our environment, and which allows our, our uh, other OpenStack components to get a special uh, to get a specific location on demand. So, uh, firstly, I would like to introduce the uh, existing strategies. Um, they are store, store type strategy. I'm sorry. Uh, they are store, store type strategy, location order st and location order strategy. So, um, first, um, store type strategies means that the order of locations just depends on the user defined store types. Now we can edit the configuration file and add some types in the store type preference. Um, and Glance will return the locations of the images one by one. So in this case, they are a file, then RPD, Cinder, and HTTP one by one. And the, second, and the second strategy is location order strategy. It's um, simpler and return the locations in its origin orders. So take this as an example. Noah could, 
get the images from local file first. So it's the uh, first priority, but if the file does not exist, it try to use the cinder and then HTTP at us. Um, in fact, these two strategies are pre-configured. -conf pre and users are not able to choose the locations dynamically. So we use the first strategy, which is already implemented in our environments, and we call it the specific type strategies. To, en to enable strategies, we just need to um, edit the GANs configuration file to use the uh, specified types for location strategy. And then you can get the Y locations when you're passing the image store parameter to glance service, just like this. And uh, for more details, I would like to run the command uh, Im glance image sort uh, with the parameter image store as cinder. And then I run the commands for the same images, but with the different parameter image store as IPD. So now check out the result. The first image just returned the cinder location because we passed the parameters to specify the image store. And the second image returned the RPD locations. In fact, we all know it's an image with multiple locations. But with our work, now we, can, we are able to get whatever location we want. So having the new specified type strategy is not enough. We have to improve the fun functionality of NOAA and CINDAT so that we can choose any, any storage backend to put the virtual machines and create the bootable volumes correctly. And firstly, we, improve, we implement the parameter image store in the server side and client side of NOAA. It is super easy to use. You can specify the image store, and class will return just the right location for that. Uh, in this case, we specify to use the image in file. Then the file location will return as expect. Well, it always works. And in a similar way, Cinda has the uh, similar functions with, uh, when creating the bootable volume from glance. So we can specify the image store. Um, in, this, in this case, it's RBD. So then the function will return the RBD, the RBD location to, to the service. Um, after adding this new feature for glance, NOAA, and Cinders, we are able to choose the specified location of image. And that's really a great improvement for Glass to support the multiple backends. Now, now we can choose the storage, storage backends to get the image and put virtual machines in the right way. But is that all? Of course not. We do more than that. There's still a problem I just mentioned about for Glance to support multiple step cluster. So in, in other words, we could not add two RBD location in the same image, or Glance could, could even not connect with two or more step clusters. So why? Because there's only one configuration for step.com in Glance configuration files. So now we have to change it to change the code to read arbitrary number of step backend, just like this. And notice that now Glance could sp specify two step.conf in instead of one, and actually connect with two step cluster in the same process. So it is the first step and the most important feature for Glance to spot uh, multiple step backends, but uh, how can I? How can we use that? So um, there's a famous saying: "Talk is cheap." Show me the demo. So 
let's watch the video we, we have made. Um, this video is about how to config and uh, upload glass imagery into two different Ceph clusters. Um, firstly, we will add Ceph backends. Now we edit the glass configuration files. We add a new session for Ceph 1 and Ceph 2. It looks pretty like the configuration of Cinder because it's the only way for GANs to support multiple step backends. So now we need to change the step.com for step two and enable uh, two backends. Be aware of that you can only uh, apply this uh, patch. Uh, you can do this after applying our patch. And now save the configuration. We, we attach the dev test sessions and stop and restart the process of Glass API. Okay, now we can now we can uh, upload the image into into Ceph. And the, the first command upload the image in the Ceph one cluster. And then we run the similar uh, commands but with the parameter image type as Ceph two. Um, Please notice that uh, these two images have different subcluster ID, which means that they are stored in a different subcluster. And that's it. Um, I'm not sure if everyone can look at the uh, pretty tiny comments, but uh, trust me, it's the real demos we just made. And if you are interested in it, uh, please check it out in YouTube, maybe tonight after they upload the videos. Um, so, um, it may not a uh, big deal, but there are many developers or users are looking forward to these features. And it's reasonable, and we already have the blueprint for that, um, Glance multi-store backend support. Um, it will be great to con contribute for that, but um, there's still a lot of work to do. Um, so, it's time to um, make a summary. Um, we have extend the feature of Glass uh, multi-locations, um, implement the new strategy, and improve the APIs of Nova and Cinder. Um, that makes it possible for users to specify locations or storage backend to put the virtual machines and create the bootable volumes. Um, that's what we call the glass multiple backend support, um, not just the multi-location feature. Um, at last, I would like to bring you back to this slide. Um, now the glass service is still on the right side of the commercial storage. So we can move it to, move it to the left side uh, in the step unified storage or move it back to the right side. Anyways, it's not really good enough to put uh, VMs from these two storage bands. So however, now we have the, our patch for multi-location feature and implement the new specified type strategy. That means Glass is able to connect with um, two or more different storage bands finally. And we can leverage its advantages to put virtual machines with copy on white feature, no matter which bands we are, use, we are using. So um, using step unified storage, uh, or using the commercial storage, or just both, it could not be the problem for OpenStack users to anymore. So um, that's it, thanks for your attendance. And there's still uh, some time for Q&A. So, any question about that? Um, okay. Uh, what version of OpenStack was your patch originally designed for? Uh, we just tested it in, um, in Liberty. In Liberty? Yes. Okay. Cool, thank you. Um, thanks. Um, be aware of that this uh, patch is test and we have the demo for that, but it's not really complete 
uh, to much better the community because there are still a lot of work to do. No plan to backport the previous versions, Juno, ISOS? Um, excuse me? So you mentioned only on Liberty, so any plan for backport on ISOS or Juno? Uh, I don't think the community would, uh, yeah. would backport the feature for, for the, the older versions, but um, we could do that if it's possible. Okay, so um, that's it. Uh, thank you for attending. Thank you. <laughs>